are in a new month. We are in April now, and that means I get to open my next wrap TBR book. I have a serious guess and hope of what this book is gonna be. I'm really, really hoping for it to be a certain book and we will find out in a moment if it is. I've like been dying to get to April so that I can open this, which is really cool because um, this Wrap TBR journey kind of makes me look forward to each new month because I get to open a new book every month. And yes, of course, it's a book that I already own and um, that I have, had for a while and so it shouldn't be that exciting but somehow it is um so without further ado let's open this book it's not the one I was thinking or hoping but I have been really actually very excited to read this book. I cannot wait to get into this one. This one's called She's Come Undone and I will throw the description on the screen for you in case you are interested in reading more about it. But there's this girl that um, throughout her high school years, I guess she's kind of had a hard time and she has found comfort in eating food and she's gotten to about 300 pounds and she has just graduated high school and she just kind of looks at her life and it's just like, what am I doing with my life? Um, and it's just like really questioning things and wondering what she should do going forward. And um, it just sounds so interesting. And I don't know, it's really piqued my interest and really, um, got me excited to read it. I literally knew nothing about it when I put it into my wrap DVR picks and then I read the back actually doing a video um, to show you which books that I picked for this challenge and I literally had my interest peaked from the moment I read the back of the book so I cannot wait to crack into this and let's go start reading. <laughs> to page 185 of this book and um i will hopefully give you better updates as we continue because this is quite a long book i believe it is 450 or so pages so i'll probably give you one more update before i actually wrap up the whole video and give you my review um and then i'll take you along with me and we will go read today because i'm planning to read some more of this today this is my wrapped to be our pick of April and um, I am hopefully going to finish this up and have this whole video out for you in May um, and then I will be unwrapping my next book very very soon so you will have to make sure you take a look on my channel for that and subscribe so you don't miss that but let's talk about she's come undone so this was a book i was actually really excited to put into my wrapped um book pile and when i originally picked all the books out and i couldn't wait for this to pop up in the pile um because i was like really intrigued by reading the back of this book and it sounded really really good and something that i would be totally interested in so let me talk a little bit about this book. So our main character's name is Dolores. And let me just say, like, I love that name. It's not a name that we commonly hear, but I just love it. I don't know. Would I want it to be my name? Probably not. But I feel like our main character really just, it just, it, 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 it captures her spirit and it is the perfect name for her. If like a character could ever be named perfectly, it was Dolores. So Dolores is in this book. She has had a really hard um, childhood and upbringing and things have just not gone very well for her. Her mom has a lot of mental health problems. Her dad is um, just not a very nice man. He drinks a lot. He uh, fights a lot with the mom and just makes her feel horrible about herself. And she just, 
he's he's nice enough to Dolores but she's also a child so she's just not really understanding really what's exactly going on um but the father was cheating on the mom the whole time and it was just like a whole thing and her childhood was just not ideal um she did have to go live with her grandmother for a while because her mother went into a men mental health facility and her dad um, I had a mistress that he decided to just move away with and just left his daughter high and dry. And so her grandmother took her in. Thank goodness she had somewhere to go. But her grandmother was just like not ready to have another kid. Like didn't think she would ever have like a kid to deal with. And she was just not really a motherly type at that point in her life. She was just like not really into it. But she did take her in. Um, and she tried. She really was trying to care for her. Um, in the best way she could, but Dolores had already been through a, a, a serious amount of trauma and other different things occurred that I haven't even talked about, but she's been through a lot of things. And so she gets to her grandma's and she's just like, misses her mom, doesn't really like it there, isn't fitting in with the kids in the um, school or the neighborhood. And it's just, it's hard for her. So um just a lot happens there's a lot of trauma there's a lot of drama um and Dolores kind of finds comfort in food but she was not really I mean she was a little bit overweight but she wasn't really like super overweight at that point um then some other even more traumatic things happened to poor Dolores and her mother and her mother comes home from the mental health facility and she's then taking care of Dolores and Dolores kind of feels like she has somebody kind of on her side again. Um, but then this other horrible thing happens to her, which I won't say because I don't want to give too much away. Um, and then Dolores starts really just like watching TV and eating and it is the only thing she wants to do. And she used to really be kind of active and go outside and do things, but now she just doesn't even want to leave the house. Um, so she starts really putting on a lot of weight and she's just getting to be extremely overweight and it's really hard for her. Um, but she's also just very spunky and quirky and smart and funny without trying to be that it makes these things that are happening not as bad to read about and it makes it so you just like want to see what happens and you want to root for Dolores. You're rooting for her the whole time and you're like, I just want you to have a good life. Like, I just want you to be happy. And so it keeps you wanting to read and it keeps you just really motivated to continue going along with her. Um, I will update you one more time after I get to reading, but I have to go read some more before I can tell you anything else about this book. And I'm gonna take you with me. So let's go ahead and go read. <laughs> update of She's Come On Done. So I am about 250 to 300 pages into this by now. Um, I am close to the end. And so far it has been amazingly good. Um, we just are talking about Dolores's life and I'm going to try to kind of pick back up where I left off on this last update. So Dolores has been through so much. She just went through even more traumatic events and it's just been insane. It's just been one thing after the other for poor Dolores. And she is getting ready to go off to college because her mom really wants her to go, but she's kind of really nervous about it because she is so overweight at this point. Um, and she's just nervous that people are gonna make fun of her and that she's not gonna fit in and all of these things. Um, so she, ends up going, ends up being more things that happen that are really bad and I can't tell you what those are because I don't want to give it away, but she ends up going to college and 
surprise, surprise, meets some people that are just the wrong people for her and it just gets even worse for her, unfortunately. And I'm not gonna tell you anything else about it from here on out. I probably will just tell you how I feel about it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, that type of thing, um, because I don't wanna give it away. However, it is a really good book. The writing style is so good. I was also reading some bad reviews on this whenever I first started with it because I kind of wanted to see like what was the vibe and what people thought about it and did they think it was bad and whatever. And so the bad thoughts were that this is actually written by a man. His name is Wally Lamb and people are saying that he's just not able to give us the perspective of a young girl, young teenager, young woman, yada yada, um, because he is a man. And that is understandable. I get that. I could see where people are coming from with that. However, I kept that in mind the whole time I was reading this and I did not feel that he wasn't able to give us these emotions and thoughts and feelings and everything that came with this book for um, talking from Dolores's perspective, which he did a lot. Um, and I think he did an amazing job with it, to be honest. Now I'm not done with the book yet, but so far that's how I'm feeling about it. And it's just like, I would never have guessed that a man wrote it unless you would have told me. So I could really appreciate this book. And I think because of that, I almost like the book even more because it's just so unexpected. It's written from a man, but it's a woman's perspective. And he's done such an amazing job of capturing how you would feel, how a female would feel in these situations. And I just, it's kind of blowing my mind that it's, that it's written by a man, if I'm being honest. Um, and I can't wait to get back into it and continue reading. So let's go do that and then I'll come back whenever I get done with it and I'll give you my full recap of it. this because it was so good um i am finished with it and surprisingly my rating is five stars um i've given it some thought and i think it really deserves five stars um the whole book i was kind of just rooting for divorce and hoping that things were gonna go well for her um and it just kept going badly it just in every turn and everywhere that i thought she maybe might turn things around and her life would get better it kind of got worse <laughs> that sounds like it would be a depressing book but to be honest like you're you're just constantly hoping that she's going to be able to better her life that is somehow it just wasn't and her outlook on things even though things are really bad the whole book was really good and she just like made it seem like even though things all these things had happened she was still just looking for the goodness out of life and trying to figure out how to harness that and get it into her own life um she also met a lot of the wrong people and had a lot of the wrong people in her life but then she also had a really a lot of really amazing people in her life that were really helpful to her and really helped her get through things and was a great support system at times um so it was a lot of back and forth and i won't tell you how it ends but i was pretty happy pretty satisfied with the ending of it um i think it wrapped up well i think that it left me questioning a little bit but for the most part it's kind of one of those endings where like you just left the rest to your imagination you get to kind of fill in the blanks with it and it, it's not bad like to do that either like i think it was kind of necessary with this book so i'm really thrilled that i got to read this i am really excited that i followed through with it and i actually did it and i'm glad that i did pick it for my rap tbr um and i'm slowly but surely catching up so this is april's wrap tbr and i will be doing may's wrap tbr next um so i'm fully up to date now just have to read the may 
wrap TBR for this month and that's that's it it'll be out hopefully at the end of this month if not it'll be out in June for sure the beginning of June so make sure you check back for that and this was just a really great book and I would really suggest you go ahead and read it um, I would also suggest you try this wrapped TBR challenge because it really helps you to read what you already have on your shelves um, because I know a lot of people have a hard time with that. Uh, I do. It, you just get distracted by library books or other books or whatever. And a lot of your books just get kind of set to the side and you're like, I'll get to it when I get to it. And you also just feel like, you know, you have time to get to it because you own these books and they're on your shelf and they're going to stay on your shelf. But um, other books that you may borrow or get from a friend or whatever, um, you feel more pressure to read. So you read them quickly and make sure you're checking back because my videos will be out very soon for all of that um, like I said in June check back or the end of this month because I'll have another wrap TBR a vlog style video out for you and if you would like to see more bookish content I post all the time on my Instagram so go ahead and check that out and then I also post a weekly video here and that's every single Friday and it is just something bookish um, and please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and put your notification bell on so you don't miss any of my amazing content that I have coming out because there's a lot of it. And thanks for joining me today, and I will see you on a new video very soon. Bye.